Hello friends, today we are diving into one of the most important and frequently asked SQL topic in interviews, window functions. These functions are not only essential for analytics and reporting, but are also a common focus in technical interviews. So if you are preparing for a SQL interview or just want to level up your SQL skill, this video can be very helpful to you. Before we define its formal definition, let's understand the term window. What does it mean in the context of SQL? Imagine you are on a train looking out of a window. What you see is not the entire world, right? It's just a limited view or frame of words around you. As the train moves, your view changes. But the size of the window and its range remain the same. So in SQL, the window is a subset of rows that the function uses for calculation for the current row. So in SQL, this window gives the context. I mean, a set of rows needed for a specific calculation for each row without collapsing into groups like aggregate functions. So let's discuss its formal definition now. Window functions allow you to perform calculation across a set of rows related to the current row. But unlike aggregate functions, they do not group the results into a single row. Instead, they keep the original rows intact while adding a calculated value for each row. Think of them as a way to see the big picture while still focusing on individual rows. We will discuss few common window functions in SQL like row number which assigns a unique number to each row. Rank and dense rank provides rankings with or without caps. And tile divides rows into a specified group of buckets. Lag, lead, access previous or next rows values. Sum, average, min, max. These perform aggregate calculations over a window. Here is the table we shall use. It tracks orders with details like order ID, customer ID, order date, order amount and region. So I execute this script. And let's explore some real world examples. Here we have order tables here. Okay, before we start working on real world example, just to explain window, which we can also call frame of rows that surrounds the current row can be customized using partitioning, ordering, and frame. The calculations performed by window functions are limited to the row visible in this window. This means the window defines which rows are included in the calculation for each individual row. Frame, which actually defines the range of rows included in the calculation relative to the current row. Our first example is about row numbers. The row number function assigns a unique sequential number to each row within a partition. For example, we might use it to rank orders within a region by order amount. For example, I execute this query and you see it assigns unique sequential number to each row in the partition. If we look at the output, it will generate unique number for each row within the same region based upon descending order amounts. Okay, our next example is about rank and tenth rank. Rank assigns ranking to rows but leaves gap in ranking when there are ties. For example, uh, I execute it. You see, we see there is tie between these two rows. Rank 5 is same for both rows. So now it leaves a gap and starts the next rank with 7. And now if we execute the dense rank, so dense rank assign ranking without gaps. So once the rows are tied, I mean once the rows are same, it starts the next row with the rank 6. Okay, our next example is about end tile function, which divides rows into a specified number of buckets. End tile function actually distributes rows into n buckets with as equal a number of rows as possible. This is great for dividing data into quartiles, deciles, etc. It seems to be confusing, right? Let me add some more details about it. 
N tile uh, is used to actually distribute rows into N approximately equal groups or buckets, right? These rows are assigned a bucket number starting from 1. This is particularly useful for segmenting data into percentiles like top 25% or 50% etc. or analyzing performance tiers. For example, if you want to divide your orders into quartiles based on their order amount, n tile will assign rows to one of four quartiles. Suppose we have 30 rows in our orders table. Using n tile, SQL will divide these rows into four buckets or groups like quartile 1, quartile 2, quartile 3 and quartile 4. As you see in the output of the query, this is quartile 1, quartile 2, quartile 3 and quartile 4. Highest order amounts will be assigned to quartile 1. The next rows to quartile 2 and so on. If the total number of rows does not divide evenly by 4, the extra rows are distributed to the earlier buckets. This gives you an easy way to group rows into performance bands or categories for analysis. I hope it clears the confusion. So let's move to the next example. Okay, in this window function example, we talk about lag and lead. Lag allows you to access value from the previous row, right? For example, I execute this query. So if you see our current row value is 250. So, but we want to access the previous row order amount, but we don't have, it's the first, but it's already a first row and we don't have any previous row. So previous row amount, uh, here is showing as null. Now in the second row, we our order amount is 300, but our previous value is 250. So here you see previous order amount as 250. Lead allows you to access the value from the next row. So for example, I execute this query. And you see order amount in our current row is 250. And the second, in second row, it is 300. So uh, we see next order amount as 300. So we run both of these queries. In this way, it helps compare the current order amount with the previous or next order amount in this sequence. Let's see a few more examples. Window functions like sum, average, min, and max calculate aggregates across the window while keeping all rows intact. For example, here we are calculating sum for each region. And here we are calculating average for each region. We execute these queries. For every row, these functions calculate values like total sales or average order amount for the window. I mean for region. And that's a wrap on window function in SQL. We have covered everything from ranking and bookers to comparison and aggregates. Window functions are incredibly versatile and a hard topic in interviews. Practice these examples. And you shall be ready to explain this topic in any SQL interview. If you enjoyed this tutorial, kindly make sure to like, share and subscribe for more content. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.